there, Gavin Gear here from UltimateReloader.com. In this video, we're gonna get down and dirty with the Hornady Lock and Load AP Five Station Progressive Reloading Press. We'll start with a full unboxing. You're gonna walk through this with me and see everything that you're gonna get in the box, everything, how it's packed, that sort of a thing. Then we're gonna mount the press. I've got a special Ultimate Reloader sliding track system here that uses three eight inch bolts. I can get eight reloading presses on the bench if I want to, and I actually have done that. After we get it mounted, we're gonna do a full assembly to get this press ready to load ammunition. So come along with me, let's see what we've got in the box. All right, so here we go. Start by sliding the lid off. The only thing I've done is to take the plastic wrap off the outside of the box, which was to take a picture. So, so this is a completely fresh unboxing. Look at that. There's the, uh, the bear press assembly. We've got some materials here, the owner's manual, etc. Okay. Trying to get all of the spare cardboard buffer packing kind of out of the way so that we can see kind of what we've got here. Okay. All right. So I think we've got kind of the uh, the primary goods out here. Got the press there. We've got a pack with a mounting bracket and some bushings. It looks like completed cartridge bin bracket. We've got five lock and load bushings, one for each of the stations in the press. These are what you're gonna need for each die setup that you're gonna use. Just lock in super quick. Okay, we've got powder measure and related parts here. Some anti-corrosion wrap here. Light touch on the knife. <laughs> okay. So there is our powder measure assembly. Hornady Lock and Load AP features a case activated design with the rotating drum. Very accurate. Find this type of powder measure to offer kind of the best overall results. Here's our baffle. Baffle is going to sit inside the powder measure and ensure that we have consistent packing from full to empty, which translates to consistent powder charges. The only downside is when you have a powder baffle, it takes a little bit longer to dump the powder, but really, it's not a real big deal. Okay, some powder measure parts. Just a few things here. These are the, the different internal funnels inside the powder measure that we've got. We've got some Allen keys. These are gonna be the tools that we're gonna use to change primer parts, to change shell plates, that sort of a thing. Okay, so I don't think I'm missing anything there. We've got various priming tubes. We've got the explosion shield, which hopefully you'll never need. We've got a large pickup tube and a small pickup tube. Okay. And then we've got the actual primer drop tubes, which sit inside the shield. This is where the stack of primers is that the shuttle is going to pick up from the bottom. Okay, this is our primer rod. This is gonna apply a slight weight to the stack of primers. And I'm gonna add a tape flag so that we know exactly when we're gonna run out of primers. And then of course, we have the actual lever. That's what we're gonna the handle, if you will, use to actuate the press. Okay, we've got another box of parts here. 
Okay, so it looks like this is our small rotor assembly for pistol charges. We've got the anti-corrosion packing. I think that's new. I don't recall that being part of the packing on some of the previous presses that I've worked with. Yeah, so see, you can see here the, uh, the small diameter metering insert and has this lock and load system where you can just quickly uh, attach those metering inserts. That's nice. Get our packing out of the way here. All right, now we've got some more small parts. So this is the PTX expander bracket. This is gonna allow us to use the PTX expander and dial in the amount of case mouth belling. That is actually optional. And we've got more small parts here. Case retention springs. Wow, look at that. We've got, we now have three of these. You actually don't use those up as much as you would think. They actually can come apart and you can reattach them because there's a smaller inner spring. You just rotate them to, to lock them. But it's nice to have extras. So we've got extra primer slide here. We've got the top of the primer stack. The plastic cap for that. This is a part of the priming system. Looks like a, a spare because it looks like we already have this part on the press. So Hornady is up to the game in terms of spare parts, which is, is really nice. We've got a small primer punch here. And we've got an indexing pawl, which looks to be another spare. And that's not all. We've got a couple more things here. The uh, spent primer drop tube that we can direct into a trash can. We've got the actual powder die. That's the part that's gonna screw into the lock and load bushing. You can do a quick change on that. Leave those set up for, ca for cartridge. All right, guys, so at its core, this is what we've got. Let's walk through the parts. All right, so I've taken a moment to kind of organize everything just a little bit better and to put everything into category groups so that you can see exactly what you're gonna get with the press. So we have the reading materials, the owner's manuals essentially. We have spare parts, indexing pawl, priming system, top arm, two extra case retention springs. We've got the Allen keys. We've got the press handle lever. We've got priming system parts. We've got the small priming components that we can swap out, the shuttle and the punch. We've got the top cap. We've got drop tubes for large and small primers. We've got pickup tubes for large and small primers. The powder major assembly comes with everything that you're gonna need pretty much to load any type of cartridge except the really big guys like 50 BMG. We've got a pistol rotor and metering insert. We've got a rifle rotor and metering insert which comes installed on the powder major. The powder baffle, the powder die, PTX expander bracket, We've got different drop funnels for different configurations of cartridges. We've got the return spring. We've got the completed cartridge bin. We've got the completed cartridge bin bracket, the press, the spent primer drop tube, and the retention spring that we're going to use, which we install under the shell plate. So with that, let's mount the press. Okay, so I've got my plate mounted to the bench tightened by knobs. What I've got here is a solid aluminum plate that's got a couple of tapped holes in it for 7 16 bolts. Now I've got a stud on the one side because when you mount a lock and load press with the case feeder attached, it actually has a square tube that sits sort of over this mounting hole. So having a stud and a nut is quite a bit easier than having a bolt to deal with. And then I've got a bolt on the other side. So what we're going to do is take the press, put our bullet completed cartridge bin bracket down, drop a washer, drop our bolt on. This is going to get us close. Now we can kind of get stuff uh, pre-aligned there. Now I'm going to align my bolt hole on the other side. Whatever you decide to do, make sure that you have your press very solidly mounted. The more solid, the better. So I'm going to 
tighten my bolt on the one side. Make sure my riser blocks are appropriately oriented. All right, so we now have our press mounted solidly to the bench. Let's put on the handle next. So we're just gonna take the press handle. Of course, we're gonna make sure that we get these threads started without cross-threading. Kind of a basic, but sometimes patience is required. Snug that baby down. Okay, handle's on. So let's put the powder measure together and get that installed on the press. I'm going to drop in the baffle. It's going to drop right to the bottom. Okay, we're going to put the cap on. And let's see, we're going to need to put the powder dye in the press. That's probably the easiest way here. So just spin on a uh, lock and load bushing. Drop the bushing into the press, lock that into place. Now we're going to need the appropriate drop funnel. I'm going to be loading 6.5 Creedmoor, so I'm going to need the, the short rifle funnel. And if that's not right, I can always just drop one in. We're going to loosen this mounting screw here, which is going to hold this case activation linkage captive. Okay, now we just need to drop on the spring and we're basically there. Well, there you have it. Now you can see everything that you get with Hornady Lock and Load AP Press, which is pretty much everything that you'll need to load standard rifle and pistol cartridges. We also saw how easy it is to put the press together. Most of it is actually pre-assembled. Got one final touch here, putting the completed cartridge bin onto the bracket. So I'm excited. I'm ready to set this press up for 6.5 Creedmoor. We're going to add a shell plate. We're going to add dies. We're going to use these lock and load bushings to do that. Stay tuned because that video is coming soon. Now, if you like what I'm doing, please subscribe to my channel. If you like this video, by all means, give it a thumbs up and stick around because we got a lot more great action with the Hornady Lock and Load AP coming up soon. We'll see you all later.